questions for you, but we will leave them for Q and A session. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, the the our next lecturer is Mr. Kristof Pietrushevich. Uh, he is the employee of the Faculty of Electrical Engineering at the Western Pomeranian University of Technology in Szczecin. His daily scientific and pedagogical interests include modeling and meta modeling of computer simulation of cyber physical systems and design of functionally safe system in the machine and automotive industry. Mr. Christoph will uh, tell us today how, how university helps not only with the problem of formulation, but more often with solution implementation. Mr. Christoph, please, uh, the scene is yours. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so I will share my screen to, to show you the presentation. Uh, OK, here we go. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, our guests, uh, I'm, uh, normally I'm every day I'm with West Pomeranian University of Technology in, Sz in Szczecin. I will say a few words today about the role of the uh, university in industry 4.0 transformation and our experience on um, in this topic in this field um, uh, when I was asked about uh, for presentation today I was thinking if I should say uh, about uh, obvious things that we are teaching students we are creating the um, competences of, of the industry of the future uh, we are doing research uh, all the universities around the Europe, they doing research. And, uh, and what I was thinking about is to show you within some framework, uh, in this case, ADMA Advanced Manufacturing Framework, the role of the university in helping industry, helping small and medium enterprises to move forward uh, to higher level um, of maturity in this in the seven domains. But it will be next part of my presentation. In the beginning, I would say that in Poland, we have uh, what is, I, I think, different than um, in other countries, or maybe one of the good practices that um, our government supports financing of PhD thesis preparation that are connected with 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 um, industry. So, if if the PhD student wants to create his PhD dissertation based on the uh, on something that will be applied in the industry then he can get the special grant, it's, it's called P, applied PhD or something like that. But um, what we need to, to be, to what we are facing at the universities, we need to invest all the time uh, to have a good laboratories, to create a um, common ground for, for uh, next um, generation of, of engineers. And uh, what we are doing at the universities in Poland, we are doing trainings for companies, for um, for um, for medium, for big enterprises as well. But it will be uh, a little bit later. Uh, I will move through the slides. I think uh, organizers will share that presentations with you. So um, just a short notice that I'm with West Pomeranian, which is quite a new university in Poland. We ha we are. 12 years old, but we uh, were combined and we were, um, yeah, we was, we were founded in 2009 uh, based on one or two the universities here in Szczecin, uh, Technical University, Szczecin University of Technology, which was founded um, in uh, 1946. I'm with a Faculty of Electrical Engineering on a daily basis and Agriculture University founded in 1954. We are now um, 11 faculties and um, almost 7,000 students, uh, 900 um, lecturers, uh, scientists. Uh, what we have, we, uh, we discussed today about this one-stop shop for, for companies, for um, small and medium enterprises. We have um, in our structures in our structure for many years, regional center of, for innovation and technology transfer. Uh, we've built a beautiful uh, site for this um, uh, innovation and technology transfer center. Uh, we have the regional point for um, EU programs um, uh, for stretching and for, for all West Pomerania. Uh, we have there also Enterprise Europe Network. So everything in one place. 
so um, uh, also um, uh, what was said today about this um, uh, Polish uh, pre pre selection of um, ED EDIH um, EDIH um, for Europe um, application. Uh, if we will if we will succeed in in our consortium, uh, this regional center will be a home for for um, for bureau of of, of this uh, contact point for for Eddie. If, if we will succeed, of course. And where we are, uh, where the session is, is West Pomeranian at the border with with Germany. So we are in close um, relation with Berlin. Warsaw, it's uh, not not so close, I would say. Also Radom and and Wrocław somewhere here, but we have quite good um, flights. So so we can be in Stockholm uh, in quite short time in Oslo in Warsaw. There's a very good uh, connection by the roads and and by the train by the by the uh, airplane as well. Um, these are our faculties, 11 faculties, as I said, and this marked in blue are uh, faculties that there is something happening that supports industry 4.0 transformation in companies in our region and also uh, in Europe we are participating in EU projects uh, one of the biggest was uh, with with uh, um, company with uh, that is in Sweden um, yeah all around the Europe but it, we are supporting them heavily. We have other also interfaculty and university units, uh, but uh, I, select, I selected two projects that are mainly com connected with supporting a small and medium enterprises or any other enterprise uh, with, with R&D activities. Uh, we, uh, this year we uh, gathered uh, almost 40 million euros in uh, priority access development of modern research institute infrastructure for science sector. It is mainly for chemistry, uh, chemical engineering, but uh, there will be nine, 18 very uh, innovative um, apparatus that, that will be supporting um, uh, uh, materials, nanomaterials, biomaterials, as you can see here, different structures and innovation functional materials that can be used for, um, for, uh, for example, in, in uh, wearables or, uh, or some bio, um, <laughs> bio uh, structures, uh, also in health and um, uh, for, for human body. But uh, director, Professor Rafa Rakoche, would could answer more. Uh, other project, uh, which is not so big by the means of um, money, but uh, the basis for that was the concept of the learning factory. So, so we decided uh, we gathered regional money, regional EU money, regional um, spread uh, EU money uh, to uh, to extend the uh, laboratories e production, oil and water hydraulics laboratory, industrial Internet of Things. EMC testing and certification laboratory, which is unique in our area uh, because the closest one, I think, is somewhere in Łódź or Poznań. Laboratory uh, for intelligent vision systems and user interface. So that was the. So I, I just want to stress that our role of the universities is to get that money to support companies because uh, it is much more easy for us to, to have. Uh, 14 million uh, million euros or 4 million euros to have that um, infrastructure to utilize that for uh, didact didactics, for education, uh, for our for our our own R and D, and also to support uh, small and medium enterprises. Because uh, I we are discussing with companies, and uh, I cannot see that they are able to to invest such money to uh, or to get that money to invest in. Um, in their labs. Uh, today it was said a lot about this uh, advanced manufacturing methodology uh, and I would like to stress that no matter uh, what the methodology you will use or the maturity level uh, definition, uh, maturity model you will use um, in your um, cooperation with companies, what is the most important is the process of using that. Uh, you, you said that I'm working with modeling and meta-modeling. Uh, 
and uh, we at the university com compared 12 different methods um, and by the means of meta model by the means of, of the structure of the data of connections of relations adma is the simplest does that mean is that the best methodology i don't know what Krzysztof Lipiec said and the, and Anya, uh, the crucial thing is to uh, to have the um, method that will rapidly give some results for the company. So we can uh, we can take Akatech, we can take German um, VDMA uh, model and any uh, any other. There are many of them. Uh, what is the most important that here in Poland we had not so much time to introduce uh, very complex meta models or models of mature or maturity models. We need something simple that works. A couple of years ago I was in Omron in Netherlands and there was a sentence on the wall uh, that uh, something simple that works is much better than something very complex that will work in many years. So for us, for companies here in Poland, the very uh, good answer from small and medium enterprises is that the ADMA methodology is very simple to understand and to, to, to change, to move forward to some activities. So that I don't want to, to give you a, a lecture about the ADMA because Agoria and, and Krzysztof Lipiec from PIAP Institute, Łukasiewicz, will be much better in that. But I, I just want to say that it's combined in seven transformation areas uh, and this one of the examples um, in transformation three echo factory resource management materials usage and looking at the descriptions of the maturity levels from one up to five what do you think where should be university involved to move from the maturity level one up to five where you where we should be uh, utilize the resources, the people, uh, the, the um, uh, investment from the university. In any countries, in your country, in Croatia, it will be a different state. In Germany, in the uh, USA, in Japan, it will be much different. I have colleagues at the university and they told me that on, the, on a daily basis, they're working on this, at these four levels. So the companies here in Poland, they need university assistance from the very beginning because it's not so popular still. But next few years, maybe we as a university will be uh, necessary to, to, to be involved in uh, only to move from four up to five, luckily for us. But nowadays, this eco factory transformation, uh, ecological uh, sustainability strongly involves the university universities here in here in Poland. So, uh, like I said, I, I can say I'm with the university for 20 years uh, from now, so I can take 200 minutes and uh, don't stop talking about what we are doing nice in teaching students. We are doing for uh, automotive industry. We have now uh, 20, we have almost 5 million uh, euros uh, in two projects that we are uh, extending uh, competences of our students and employees, digital competences, communication competences, very important um, because, you know, young people, they, they're working in this um, very social media environment, they are, they are stressed, they, they sometimes cannot uh, communicate with each other to work on the uh, complex projects, complex problems. Uh, they need some competences to be extended and we have such projects at the university. We are working with, we are doing research with companies, but it's normal, it's regular for all the universities uh, that we should act like that. I'm happy that Anya said about the role of um, future industry platform because uh, I'm one of the external experts for, for, um, for this platform and I'm happy that universities, they know here in Poland what, what can be their role? They, they're involved in these activities and then uh, actively create this, this um, um, maturity increasing in our, in our country. So I prepared some uh, data for you for, for today to show you uh, how in this, in this transformations, what is actual state? Uh, I discussed with my colleagues uh, from, let's say, biggest universities here in Poland, 
involved in industry 4.0 um, activities and uh, with, with this um, uh, descriptions of uh, ADMA methodology, advanced manufacturing technology, they said that the universities, for example, uh, in advanced manufacturing methodologies in category and this uh, subcategory strategy, uh, companies, they really know what to do at level one, two and three. But from level four, they strongly they need assistance assistance of the universities, and at this um, in this category level of cap capabilities for for advanced manufacturing technology employees, we are training because there are companies that uh, that gives gives training. But when it comes to integration, we as universities we have much more experience and institutes like Piak Vukasiewicz have much more experience uh, in integration of um, cyber uh, physical systems of um, uh, multi multi system um, multi environmental system and different communications and stuff like that and so we are involved from the very beginning at this stage so just a short comment with this transformation digital factory. I can say uh, that here in Poland, most of the companies, they uh, being at level one, they, they don't need uh, universities. Uh, wh when it comes to some digitization uh, ideas, uh, projects and, and structure, we are, they are utilizing universities because they can get uh, external financing for that. So that's what it's not uh, because that uh, companies they don't want to do that uh, by themselves, but they are introducing us from the universities uh, in these categories. Echo Factory, um, you can see that we are strongly needed from the from the very beginning. From the it's not so good situation nowadays. Um, uh, average two uh, point forty three from all these categories. End-to-end uh, -end customer focused engineering or integrated engineering uh, for uh, automotive industry, machine industry, they at this level one and two, they have processes. They, they're doing a very good, um, they have good processes. They're introducing their customers needs into new products development. But when it comes to some innovation, the role of the university becomes more and more stronger. So, well, uh, transformation, human-centered organization. Most of the companies are uh, working with external, with consult consultant companies because uh, it's not the topic that we are uh, doing a lot of research at universities in Poland. But anyway, being at level at these higher levels, uh, there is a lot of communication or cooperation with uh, with uh, companies. So the, I have two minutes left. So just uh, uh, last slide, uh, leaving some space maybe for questions. Uh, value chain oriented open factory. That's a transformation because um, very close to my heart because um, for last two years, I, I'm taking a role of uh, uh, Vice Rector Research and develop, uh, Development of, and Organization of my university. And this transformation shows that this internal innovation network, partnership driven innovation, supply chain governance beyond customer and supplier needs and external knowledge management, uh, companies, they need us. They, they, they need us because, because also we as a university, they, we need to have the place to implement, to apply our research, our theoretical, um, uh, let's say, um, achievements. And this, this rather graph shows that uh, this 4.0, 4 I, I took it, I took that um, average result uh, of ADMA scans or ADMA maturity level in the seven um, uh, areas or domains uh, of advanced manufacturing methodology. Uh, but of course, ideal case is five. But Paul Peters, that the, the guy that trained us um, uh, in the future industry platform with this methodology, uh, he said that they're not 
no uh, no company in Europe that has five in in all seven categories. So that's a very good point that there's no ideal uh, finally transformed. It's it's a continuous process. Um, also showing this graph here is the starting point that universities are involved in transformation uh, in Poland. Uh, in small and medium enterprise in this in this seven um, uh, areas of framework, uh, seven fr seven uh, categories framework of ADMA. So uh, next year when we will discuss that, maybe we will, it will be better. Maybe there will be more companies that that need some more or um, uh, introduce, introducing universities from the from the lower level, but. Uh, I want to show that we as universities, uh, because uh, we should know our uh, our role in this industry for the zero transformation, to help to help small and medium enterprises to move forward to to achieve the highest level of maturity, but also. Uh, sorry. Uh, we should not, as universities, that's my observation, uh, be involved in activities at the very low level, because because that's not that's not the place that uh, our um, investments can can be useful. Thank you very much. Thank you, Christoph, for your presentation and your insights uh, as uh, the, as the presenter for a university and their role in the industry 4.0 uh, organizational support. We shall have a couple of questions for you as well, hopefully for the Q&A session. And uh, at the, well, given the time cur uh, currently, I would like to ask just a simple uh, side, side question, perhaps. Do you have any plans or does Poland already have a plan uh, for uh, for educating for roles such as digital transformation expert or digital transformation expert in the industry or for manufacturing industries or or something like that. Do you have a do you have study programs such as that? Because, because yes, yes, yeah. yeah. Because yes, you need we, we, a country of your of your size, you need to have you need to have enough experts to help all these companies. Uh, we have we have such educational programs. We have some specializations at, uh, for example, at, in control engineering. Uh, there are a couple of universities here in Poland that offers uh, functional safety or model-based design for automotive, or uh, you know, so some precise specializations. But uh, artificial intelligence is uh, is very very popular now. It even becomes the um, I don't know when you have engineer and after engineer you are doing some additional study. Um, uh, we have also dual studies here in Poland that are co-financed by the companies. Uh, I think a very good example is uh, Poznan University of Technology and their program with Volkswagen here in Poland. Uh, we have uh, Silesian universities, Silesian University of Technology uh, in Gliwice that they have dual studies as well. Uh, so we at the university, we have industry uh, 4.0 uh, integration engineers. So we're working um, uh, between uh, areas, between domains to, to create an, uh, an engineer that will be a good integrator for industry 4.0 because we know that, uh, you know, it's not only electrical or mechanical or uh, IT or in, uh, ICT uh, engineer, it, it's a mixture. So, so yes, we have such programs and a couple of years ago, it was something like government uh, said that we, you have money for this type of study. I think I've heard something that uh, this uh, such of um, intervention, intervention of government uh, will come next year, but I don't know, but we are, we are eager to see that, of course. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's